Did you believe yet? Did you believe that Jesus is present in our midst, in your heart? Did you truly believe that the presence of God, Jesus Christ, our Lord, the risen Lord, in the sacrament of the Eucharist, that we receive every single Mass, the, the body of Christ, and we took it in, we chew it, we swallow it, maybe we've forgotten where it goes, but do you believe that this presence of the Lord will give us healing, give us mercy, transform our mind and heart. Do you believe in it? If you truly believe in it from the time of First Communion, then you and I cannot be the same. My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the divine mercy. And I'm scratching my head every time when people recite or pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet. For me, as a Vietnamese guy, growing up in a Vietnamese culture, we love Lent. We love the crucifix. We love the bloody Jesus to the point that even the Divine Mercy, we continue to show the bloody Jesus carrying the cross, not just that dragging the cross, and dying, not just dying yet, staring at each one of us with that bloody eyes. That's scary. But if we're not careful, though, my brothers and sisters, we believe that that is divine mercy. Blood and water come out from that beautiful image right there. And underneath every icon of the divine mercy, you see, Jesus, I trust in you. Now, today the gospel give us that hint why we have that Jesus, I trust in you in the bottom. Because that one of the ultimate messages for us to carry on today. The gospel today give us three key words that we have to bring home. The divine mercy is not just about bloody. It's not just about suffering. First one is forgiveness. When Jesus appeared to the disciples, he said, I forgive you. I know you warrior that you denied me three times. Some of you ran away. You didn't stick along with me. You didn't even say that, hey, you shouldn't crucify that man. That man is innocent. They so scared ran away from Jesus. Only one stayed with him. Jesus, not just that, he said that, I'll give you the power to forgive others. And why forgiveness is so essential in mercy of God? Because I believe that mercy without forgiveness is not truthful mercy. It's not truthful love. Love without forgiveness is not love, my brothers and sisters. I had a privilege to celebrate two weddings yesterday and Friday. One right here and one in New Orleans for the young couple. And I reminded them that if you say you love your spouse, remember to forgive your spouse as well. Without forgiveness, there's no marriage. The moment we say yes to one another and love one another, it's also the moment we say, I will forgive you no matter what. And if you don't believe me, ask a couple of people here been married for 50 years. That is their secret because they keep forgiving each other. We live in a world today that a lot of, a lot of turmoil, if you will, violence, and even killing each other because we lack of forgiveness. We don't forgive. Number two word for us today is peace be with you. Jesus in the gospel today repeated three times. The first time he said, peace be with you for those who live in fears, those who live in confusion, those who live in all kinds of ignorance, if you will. Jesus appeared like a few times to his own apostles 
walk into, remember the road to Emmaus, and breaking the bread, they didn't know that Jesus. Jesus said that, hey, throw the net on the right side of the boat. And they caught so many fish, and they didn't know that. They didn't know that. Because they have so much, so much going on inside. Peace be with you. I commend you to go, forgive sins, preach the good news. And the third piece with you that he said to Thomas, and you know, they said that not just only Thomas doubt the resurrection of the Lord, all apostles also doubted, but he didn't say it. My brothers and sisters, a lot of Catholics today don't believe in the presence of Jesus or be the presence of God in the sacraments. They make a survey that how many how many people believe in the, the presence of Jesus in the sacrament of the Eucharist? Maybe you have 20, 30 percent of Catholics say, yes, I believe the presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. A lot of people right now don't even go to church. They don't even associate with sacraments anymore because they don't believe the presence of God right there. My brothers and sisters, Peace be with you, repeated three times in every Mass. We need peace, not just out there. Mother Teresa said, if you want to have peace in the world, go home and have peace with your own loved ones in families. We need a lot of peace in our own families today. And so we need to work on that. But my brothers and sisters, whenever we pray for peace, Make sure we have peace and unity. Right after the Our Father, we pray that God give us peace and unity. And so we pray so that everywhere we go, we have unity so that we have peace. The third word is life. And I believe this is the ultimate purpose of divine mercy. Those who believe in Jesus Christ, the risen Lord, have life and life eternal. Whenever you and I see that icon again, Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I believe in you. And believing is not just a moment. Belief is a, is a lifestyle. It's a consistent lifestyle of believing. Means that we will bring the presence of God to everywhere we go. We bring peace to people. We bring forgiveness to people. And so today, I want to say con congratulate to you again because we are very few people so blessed and lucky to hear the word today and even come here frequently. I wish and pray that each one of us don't underestimate the power of God and the power of mercy today that God sent us to go out and evangelize people, tell people, I have seen the risen Lord. And not just that, come, come with me. Because only from God we have life. Only from God we have true peace. Only from God we have forgiveness. Father Tim, yesterday he said, did you know that your eternal life and deposit of life in the bank right next to you. Sometimes we are afraid that we don't have enough money to pay our debt. Our debt already paid and the deposit of our bank account already in the bank. We just go and check it out. God died on the cross and forgiven our sins. God continuously forgiven us and asked us to do the same. And so maybe today is the day we celebrate not just the forgiveness of sins, but God continues to give us life, not just today, but forever. Amen.